So when you share, you come out of your cocoon. This is what I encourage. Because some people study with me and they feel cozy, they feel comfortable. They don't feel comfortable in the group. I say, you don't have to share, you just be there. But come out because you become more closed in. But when you open, then you expand your consciousness. That is the purpose. You feel relieved. People come for private session and all these things. And can you believe? They cry and open their heart and they say, I haven't shared this with anyone before. They feel comfortable to share because I am with one with them. You know, like children, not any, any age. I'm not as a teacher or pushing or saying right or wrong, just being at them so they feel at ease. You can feel at ease right here because everyone is in that situation. Okay, so anyone wants to share, just bring out, ask question, share anything you like, just, and I build a philosophy on whatever anyone brings out or shares. Whoever wants to start. Neda, okay. Shanti, um, just what you were talking about, how... Uh, sometimes talk a little louder. Okay, okay talk the, a little louder. How uh, sometimes we go through our lives possessing things and hanging on to things. And I was with my mother, who's 80 years old, and I was walking around her apartment, and she is literally, there is stuff from floor to ceiling, organized, of course, but just crammed in so tight hundreds of pictures of when we were younger and she said when she goes by the pictures of us when we were little she starts crying and mm -hmm. I said well maybe you need to like let some of that go if it causes you pain and she said oh I don't know I don't know if I'm ready for that now and I said but you're 80 years old and I said maybe it's time to start letting some of it go so then after I was with her I went to my house and I started looking at me and I'm like oh let it go, let it go. <laughs> and hundreds of CDs that I used to play in my yoga class, I play no music now in the class because we're overstimulated, like you said. Exactly. Overstimulated. Everything. I look around, it's like, is this in my house? Do I like it? Do I need it? And even in the yoga philosophies, if you have something and you're not using it, it's almost like stealing. You need to give it back so yes. someone can use it. Yes. And so just walking around realizing... It's truly an American phenomenon, I think, too, having too much stuff. Like, we have bins and bins, and then we also have more storage. Like, we actually have to rent a place, some people do, <laughs> to have their stuff. Mm -hmm. Or you can't get anything in your garage. You can't get your $40,000 car in your garage because you have stuff in there. You know, it's like, what yes. is that? So this is exactly what is happening today. For learning to meditate or find happiness, all you do is let go of the burdens. As one gets older, feels more insecure. Because of insecurity, to find security, we collect. People collect. And more and more they collect, they feel greater insecurity. Mm -hmm. So letting go. Letting go of the things. Then letting go of attach attachment to the body. Yeah. Attachment to the senses. Attachment to the mind. Attachment to the emotions. And you feel relieved. Just, just trying that. Look at the stimulation, you know, all the facilities we have, <clears throat> iPhone, smartphone and all this. Most people are distracted by it. I know some people, you know, they do tick, 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 you know, text messaging. I don't use cell phone. I have cell phone only for emergency when we are traveling. Mm -hmm. People like, you know, uh, I don't have, you know, cell phone like that, but they write message on Facebook. Instead of emailing me, instead of emailing me, they can call me directly because they put on Facebook, if I don't watch it, I don't see the email, I don't get it. It just, imagine, if somebody emailed me, I want private class, then I say I'm not available then. Back and forth, you drain so much energy. Go directly call and straighten out. Mm -hmm. But so, so much energy is wasted and people are not aware of it. So people feel tired, exhausted, or anything. This is the first answer. Let go. Let go. And you feel relieved. And Neda, 
I guess, uh, can she, she's teaching yoga for some time. She brings her students. Yes, bring out anything. I have known her for so many years. Yes. Um, I, I love to tell this story because it honestly, literally changed my life. Um, years ago, oh, I don't even remember, quite a while ago, I went to Shanti because I was trying to fix my husband. And so, even though I was reading in his books, you know, no, I'm anyone, you can't control others. I was like, yeah, yeah, but it's my husband, I need to fix him, and he's, he needs fixing, you know. And so I went to Shanti, and I was very upset because I said, my husband is doing things that I know are harmful for his body, like he's eating things that I don't think are right, and Shanti just kind of stopped me, and he goes, your husband's on his own journey. Why are you trying to make him something that he may never be able to do, and he might not even be ready for some of this stuff? Because I said, he doesn't really come to yoga, he doesn't believe in it, la, la, la. All right, let him alone, goodness <laughs> sakes. And then, then, then the big one is he comes to me and he goes, don't you have stuff to work on within your own self? And I was like, uh, yeah, but it's so much easier to work on somebody else instead of yourself. <laughs> yes. So from that time on, it yes. was a total turnaround. And then I could not believe what a difference it made in my personal life. It, and it frees up so much energy, just like you said, to just let it go. I was like, okay, wow. And then you have all this extra time and you're like, oh, I guess I should be working on me now. But yes. it, it's not only that, but then in other areas of my life too that I just go, it's not that I don't care. Mm -hmm. I just, I can't fix these people. I can't, I don't own them. I can't control them. My own children, it, that's been a, such a tremendous help trying not to own them and control them because they are their own people. Yes. So. And this is how we are programmed. You know, we are programmed to help others. Yeah. And, and really, we cannot help anyone. We can only, only provide service. Mm -hmm. Only time you should provide service when you have surplus. Yes. If you don't have enough money, you cannot give cha to charity. Mm -hmm. If you don't have enough wisdom, you don't guide others. Do this and do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. You don't have enough energy, you cannot give somebody hand to carry a bag. So first principle of yoga is nurture yourself. And people feel guilty nurturing themselves. Okay. Anyway. So this is the main principle.